Any place where people are suffering because they or someone they love is under the weight of substance use needs a collective understanding that people all struggle with different sorts of things. As an employer, it makes sense to offer this. The easiest way to define recovery-friendly workplace is a workplace in which you understand that if you or someone you love is struggling with a substance use disorder, that there is a way for you to be able to speak up safely about that. One of the things I'm very proud of is how we have put our team members first. For me, RFW came in and they put their arms around us and they said, okay, you're doing a lot of bits and pieces of this, but let's just sort of collect it all together. My name's Katie Easterly Marte. I'm the Executive Director of the New Hampshire Community Development Finance Authority. CDFA's mission is to advance community development, economic development, and clean energy initiatives through public-private partnerships. We serve all of New Hampshire, and we look to advance the betterment of communities by investing state, federal, and private resources into important projects. Substance use has had a significant impact on New Hampshire's economy. Specifically, $2.36 billion is lost annually in our economy. The majority of the costs, $1.6 billion, are incurred by businesses across New Hampshire. The Recovery Friendly Workplace Initiative was created by Governor Sununu. He had a vision for how to support individuals in recovery. CDFA was really excited because it aligns so well with our mission. We started by recruiting early adopter businesses that had been doing significant work on wellness in the workplace. Since that time, we have engaged over 270 New Hampshire businesses, representing over 70,000 employees. My name is Kevin Thompson. My recovery journey started about 12 years ago. That's when I realized I had a problem with alcohol. It's something in the past for myself that I felt I, you know, have not been able to be honest about with my employer for fear that I'm going to be treated differently or I'm not going to get a job or I'm not going to get a promotion. And I think a lot of people in my situation feel the same way. Genfoot is a Canadian owned company that's been in the outdoor footwear business since 1898. When I had an employee in the late 2000s that I fired for reporting to work under the influence of alcohol several times. Tragically, she never stopped drinking and passed away from liver failure within six months of losing her job. I heard about the RFW through the North Country Health Consortium here in Littleton. They were hosting an orientation and invited several local employers. I enthusiastically supported the initiative from the moment of that orientation when it opened my eyes to the fact that I could help employees with SUDs. Since we became a recovery-friendly workplace, we've had five employees come forward with an SUD who we've helped get into recovery and continue to help them stay in recovery. Myself and one of my coworkers have volunteered at Genfoot to be on what they call their helping hands committee. Another employee does not have to necessarily go to the plant manager when they're seeking help. They can come to us. They can come to another employee. I want to have my hand out when people need it, just like other people had their hand out when I needed it. Genfoot supports that and encourages that, and I just think that's amazing. We really feel that the Recovery Friendly Workplace Initiative is a model that should be replicated nationwide. It's the first of its type of strategy that really engages businesses in addressing issues related to addiction. So ensuring that workplaces are able to be part of the solution is really important.